Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at ISC 2016 in Frankfurt, Germany. And today we're here at the Super Micro booth with Brian. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing very well, thank you. Well, great, great. I think this is an exciting time for you guys. We've got Knight's Landing was announced this week, and you've guys got a whole set of hardware with the scalable system framework here, don't you? Uh, yes, we do. So we're showing uh, what you see here is uh, the visual molecular dynamics. And so it's running on our 2U4 node 5028TKHTR. And so this is where most of the interest is going to lie with respect to Supermicro's Knight's Landing offering. And so we have a head node that is spinning up four instances of Linux and then putting all the data back through the head node out to a display node. This is an all Intel, all Supermicro solution. And then it's running off of our 48 port Omnipass switch. So you can see all the data is being transferred here uh, through the 100 gigabit links and then sending it out to the 4K resolution display. So we have a number of exciting products uh, we offer here. I mentioned the four node uh, in a 2U form factor. Um, so all of these are hot swappable. They provide two low profile by 16. So whether or not your networking needs are Omnipath, EDR based, or a hybrid of the two. So a lot of our HPC focused customers are interested in connecting to existing InfiniBand based uh, FDR storage. You can slot in one of those cards and still have room to spare for 100G. Uh, each system will provide three, uh, three and a half inch bays uh, per node. You also have two SATA DOM ports, or you can run completely diskless as we're doing for this demo. Also, I want to point your attention to our uh, developer's platform. This is the 5038KI. So this takes the features of a single node from our twin system and puts them into an ATX form factor. So you still get the six uh, DIM, so there's six memory channels with Knight's Landing. This will support the full range of non-fabric SKUs. Um, and so you might question, well, how do we do this? Uh, it's a 215 watt processor. You're gonna have this dust side. How do you keep it cool, but without so much noise? So we have partnered with Cool IT Systems to provide a closed loop, maintenance-free uh, liquid cooling solution. So in addition to the CPU memory support, which is up to 384 gigabytes uh, in this system, and then as well as per node in the twin, we also have the two uh, by 16 PCIe 3.0. And then since each KNL offers 36 lanes of PCIe, uh, we're using the other by four and a byte there. So you get the full uh, PCIe expansion available with the CPU. So Brian, I, I, when I think of Super Micro, I think of first to market. As soon as Intel or somebody has a new, the hottest new chip or something, you guys seem to have a whole portfolio of things out here. Uh, is, is Knight's Landing, oh, Intel Xeon 5 processor, is that even generally available yet? Uh, no, so we're still in the early ship period, so the general availability will be later this year, but I can just say, you know, true to form, Super Micro, we are time to market leaders, so we do have these systems uh, available today, so you can contact your Super Micro uh, account manager uh, to find out more about how to get your hands on either the tower here or the twin system. Um, the other big announcement here, of course, was that uh, NVIDIA came out with the new GPU, the uh, P100 with the Pascal architecture. What does Super Micro have there? So we have some exciting products that uh, make use of the P100. So as you see over here, there's the standard double width GPU, and this is in our four um, GPU-based workstation. And then we have our system here, which is the 1028 GQ TXRT. So this leverages our popular one U4 GPU system, but as you can see here, we've added another board and removed where the front three GPUs would go to put in support for four SXM modules, and so each one of these is a P100. Now the exciting thing here is each one of these uh, has the ability to communicate with one another using NVLink. So uh, there's kind of a um, a uh, battle going on between, so we've covered the Intel-based systems where they're trying to make the CPU the nexus, and so this is going the opposite way to try to reduce the dependence on the CPU and just communicating amongst the GPUs and then going out directly to the network uh, through the PCIe without ever touching the CPU. So we see uh, much interest in both of these platforms, um, and so it's exciting to see uh, when these come on the market later this year um, what kind of applications, you know, we can see your standard uh, deep learning, any kind of um, 
thing that can leverage uh, massive amounts of double precision floating point uh, capability. Um, a lot of exciting stuff uh, in the pipeline. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is this is great because uh, NV Link, of course, gives you the better bandwidth into the GPU. You can feed the beast, as it were, and you're able to do that with the Broadwell as the uh, as the compute node and then serve it out with these accelerators. That's pretty cool. I mean, uh, I thought you had to have, go to Open Power or something if you wanted NV Link, and that's not the case at all, is it? No, not at all. And as I said uh, just a little while ago, so we're leveraging uh, the same uh, platform as the One U4 GPU mm -hmm. and then just putting the uh, SXM modules in the front here on, this, on, the, on the front board. All right, Brian, we have here what looks to me like a blade system. What do you got? Well, um, I can see why you could say that, but the first thing, let me uh, settle the score here. It is not a blade. It's now, while it's using one of our Super Blade chassis, this is actually our eight uh, CPU system, the uh, 7088. So let me take one of these out here, and you can see that each one of these houses uh, one of the CPUs. Yeah, yeah. And you can see a lot of dim slots there. Wow. So this system in total can support up to 24 terabytes of memory and 192 cores using the Xeon E78800 series V4, V3 CPUs. In addition to that, there are 15 PCIe slots in this system, so a lot of uh, memory capacity, a lot of uh, expandability and flexibility. So uh, any kind of enterprise level workload um, would be able to uh, meet its match with this system.